Hello guys, this is Ragnarok, and this is actually my first tutorial I'm making on this channel. And uh, this is how I record my videos, basically, using this program here called ITV. Uh, let's have a zoom here. ITV. And I plug in my HTTP VR into my Mac. And uh, yeah, this is basically a remote control. So uh, let's plug into our... Nah, where's my HTTP VR? Here's the cord, and just plug it in. I already have it turned on and everything. So I just plug it in, and this component input shows up. Now, um, assuming that you already know how to use an HTTP VR, you, uh, oh, you actually have to make sure that um, in controls on ITV, you uh, put this component video input, not composite or S-video, unless you're using those. But if it's HD, you buy um, HD component cables. Now, uh, I'm specifically using a PS3. But um, it usually comes with it. But I personally think it's the official PS3 composite cables are much better, in my opinion. So uh, let's just try to get something. I'll just show you how this thing records and stuff. And I'll show you how to export it and other stuff to do with it. So, um, it's... By the way, there is a little bit of a delay and, uh... Yeah, that no signal thing. There has to be a way to fix that. But, uh, it hasn't really bothered me because, uh, I don't really record from the... You know, from the PS3 home menu. Or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it. So, uh, let's start recording over here. Or over here. And uh, just pick some random characters. And yeah, well, that, that's enough for recording. So you click stop here. And it should um, just click this over here. And uh, yeah, let's just pause the game here. And this is your recording over here. Again, click. Uh, right here, this top right thing over here, to get this menu. And yeah, here's your recording. And uh, if you double click it, you can uh, play it back. And uh, it's a little laggy right now because um, I'm recording with uh, ScreenFlow over here. But usually it should be fine. Now uh, you can actually edit it over here. And uh, you can like pick from where to where you want to record and stuff. Just uh, do draggy draggy. And uh, yeah. And this is basically export. Exporting you can, um, well I actually changed my, change my name over here. And I personally use several different formats over here. For example, if it's like not too long of a video, like 5 to 10 minutes or lower, basically lower than 10 minutes or so, just use H.264. Now, if you want to edit it with iMovie, for example, I have this Final Fantasy Let's Play that I'm doing. Nah. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is kind of a uh, kind of doo-doo right now, and yeah. I need some water actually, but I'll get it later. I personally, when I'm editing with iMovie long video files, I use iMovie 09 over here. And uh, this works perfectly fine. This actually works really good for iMovie. And uh, you could use QuickTime or MPEG4. And uh, this is the same thing as this. Or um, DV. DV also works, but. Um, if you're not doing anything fancy, just stick with H.264. If you have any questions with a file format which you should be using, just leave it in a comment or private message me. I'll I'll try to reply to it. And yeah, basically just save that to use this to pick where you want to save it to. And yeah. And also I want to get into the settings I use for the iTV to get the best settings possible to export and recording and stuff. Well, export doesn't matter, but uh, recording. 
So just go up here, ITV preferences. And here we go. From left to right. Left, I have this. And uh, this really isn't that important, but um, yeah, you can have it on just, just if you want. And this really isn't important either. It's basically just where it records and it really doesn't have much to do with recording, but um, actually like how it records, not the quality. This is controls. You really don't need to mess with it unless you know what you're doing. Guide. No, no, you don't need it. Display. Right here. This should be progressive scan already. But uh, right here, it should be draw field when you just install ITV. Well, at least my model was. But um, if you have a fast computer, or if you have a decent computer, just uh, click the progressive scan and... Uh, even if you don't have a decent computer, you can still try Progressive Scan. If your computer can handle it, good for you. Good job. Then uh, it should be better, better, better quality than Drop Field. Now full screen and sharing iPhone doesn't really matter. It's just even sharing and stuff. Sound, sound. Now uh, I use Soundflower 2H because uh, I don't want sound coming from my computer. When I record, I sometimes use headphones or uh, yeah, anything that prevents my computer from you know playing back the volume while I'm recording, especially live commentary. Devices. Here's the most important part. Now, um, this should be an uh, I think better or or something. Just change the custom. Go to edit. Constant bit rate. 13.5 Mbps, this should be AA3, or AAC. And yeah, just make sure it's HTTP VR and stuff. Picture, it really, it really doesn't matter. You can actually uh, tone it to your liking. You can actually, actually I might turn the brightness down a little bit. But uh, I'll do it later. I'll adjust it. And info, oh, you don't, you don't really need to see that. And yeah, and I think we're pretty much done. Just exit out and record. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Please, uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or private message me because uh, I'm more than willing to answer right now. Oh, one last thing. If you're looking to record a live commentary, here's what you need. Audacity. Now, uh, it should be a free software for both PC and Mac. And just install it, and uh, let's just open it right here. Taking a little while to open, because uh, my computer's kind of crappy. Audacity. No, it's not crappy, it's just four years old. But, um, yeah, right here is the audio input. It's your uh, microphone. If you have a separate microphone than built in, you can uh, go in here and just select it. I'm personally using a Yeti stereo microphone, which is amazing actually. I'm so glad I got it. I got it like two years ago for a hundred bucks. Still working fine, still working fine. And uh, sometimes if you um, open Audacity and then plug in your mic, it sometimes doesn't show up in here. Now how you fix that is just go and quit Audacity and restart it again. And it should show up. Now, if that fails, just restart your computer, because, uh, well, that never happens to me, but just in case. So, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I already said it last time, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.